It's crazy. I'll never forget that day, man, when I when I was watching my my buddy's sister. I don't know what happened to him. I I uh, I wish that I've told this story several times, and I I wish she would show herself. Um, but I I have no idea what happened to him. I, uh, he he got in all kinds of trouble. Uh, you know, with, with the law, and, and I don't know if he died or went to prison or what, I just lost contact with him. And uh, and I have no idea what happened to her, but man, she, you know, she was the one that, that gave me the guitar that, that uh, why I'm here, you know? Maybe they'll hear the video and he'll reach out to you. Maybe he's a politician. It would be awesome. <laughs> I, you know, it, it would be awesome. You know, I, I would love to see, you know, where those people are at. But, uh, you know, with the help of my family, too, I, I come from a, a really close Italian family, you know, generations and generations of it. And... Uh, very, we were very tight and very close, and everyone in my family, you know, I have three, I have three older sisters, and my mom and dad were married for 63 years, so it, there was a lot of love there, and uh, and they always stood by me, they didn't understand what the hell I was doing or what I wanted to do, but they always stood by me, and uh, it, each one of those people in my family were into different types of music. I had a, one sister that was into Bob Dylan and Neil Young uh, and Joni Mitchell. And then I had one sister who was into Black Sabbath and Queen and, uh, you know, Zeppelin. And then I had one sister who was into the Outlaws and Marshall Tucker and Leonard Skinner. My mom was into 60s music, like Motown and... Uh, and and really cool country bluegrass and and really awesome country Johnny Cash and and Buck Owens and you know I love that stuff I grew up on hee haw and then my dad was a jazz freak my dad grew up like I, to, I think I told you this already he grew up with Gene Krupa famous jazz drummer and so he was all into jazz so every time I would play like Aerosmith or something like that, my dad could pick up on those jazz beats that they do in a lot of their songs, like big 10 inch record and stuff. And, um, so that's my, that opened my mind up. I was never, although I, I have to admit, I did go through a, a couple of years. I'm sure we all do where we just listen to one style and that's it. Everything else sucks. But, uh, there was such a wide variety of music put on me. You know, if I had to go in the closet and listen to Elton John or whatever, you know, then I did, you know, and I, I love that stuff. I love all pretty much all kinds of music. And I, I think that's really important for someone who writes music or somebody who doesn't write music, whatever. But um, me and Doug were talking this morning about melodies, and that is so important. I can hear a melody in a dishwasher, you know, I could, I can make a song out of that sometimes. If, if the, if the spoons are set in there weird and a glass is jiggling around, I could make something out of that. And, uh, and I was told by a guitar teacher that that was a gift that, that you hear notes all the time, don't you? And I was like, yeah, all the time. I dream of music and, uh, and it's never went away. And what's crazy is it's more strong now than it's ever been. And usually people burn out or die or whatever or give up and uh, and it didn't do that with me. God bless whoever cursed me with that because uh, I'm very grateful for it, you know. So yeah, very, uh, sounds interesting, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, crazy life I've had, definitely. And it and it's and it's like, you know, about eight years ago, maybe a little longer, probably about eight years ago. No, it was longer. It was like ten years ago. This girl I was going out with, her friend was a writer, and she wrote a book on like Michael Stipe and Kurt Cobain. She wanted to write a book on me because I got some crazy ass stories, you know, and. Um, and I was like, are you kidding me? 
I don't even think I was 40 yet or even near it. And uh, my life's just starting, you know? Come back when, you know, if I make it to 60 or 70, let's talk then, you know, because uh, I feel like my life is really just now starting, you know? Uh, it, it freaks me out when, I understand people want, always want to be young, but you know, uh, what is it, young, young at heart? 